Welcome back to the Annie Fry Show. I love the holiday music. Uh, it is one of my favorite holiday songs. You, just, you don't have to suffer the people through it. <laughs> I, that's almost like one of the songs that we play just for me, I think. Do you love the Justin Bieber drummer boy? I was going to say, who is that? Cause it's Justin it's... Bieber and Buster Rhymes. Oh, yeah, I do know that song. We'll get to it later. No, we will not. <laughs> yeah, we will. <laughs> we'll work it into the Zumba fundraiser. Um, anywho, let's get to the business of the day. I wanted to bring people on and bring people in locally who are doing really cool things, <clears throat> excuse me, for the holiday season, um, and also unique gifts, especially ones that are kind of coming here from the St. Louis area. And my friend Mark Sutherland is back in studio with us to talk about the Stone Ledge Distillery Tasting Room. Mark, welcome back to the show. It's well, always great to have you here. Thanks for having me back. It's always a pleasure. Of course. The Tasting Room is now open here in Defiance, Missouri. And this is a really, really awesome opportunity for people who are getting together with maybe some college friends or high school friends for the holidays. Maybe you want to do an adult family uh, outing with the kids when they're you know back for for the holiday season, tell me about this tasting room experience that people. Yeah, so take. we've had our spirits, uh, Stolok whiskey and inversion vodka, out on the market for a couple of years. Available at retail stores all over, all over Missouri. Um, but we've had this vision, this dream of having a place where we could host our our friends. And so we have we had the opportunity, and we've been working this for the last few months to take over the old biker bar in Defiance, Missouri, and refurbish it and turn it into our tasting room where we can highlight some incredible Missouri spirits through some great uh, cocktails, martinis, add to that a cigar lounge, and uh, it's just a fun experience to come in and really enjoy the holiday season because we have some seasonal drinks as well uh, that we're offering. That's it's so It sounds so fun, and I think that a lot of times during the holiday season, you, a lot of folks, depending on their community that they're in, you kind of get in the the drudge of doing the same old things. And it's like, we should go do something. What What's something different that we can do? This seems like exactly the different thing that people might be looking for. Yeah, so you can come in, and you don't even just have to come visit our tasting room. So just in Defiance, you've got Sugar Creek Winery, you've got Distillery of Defiance, you've got Wenty's Roadhouse, you've got the Watering Hole, Circle Six Watering Hole, you've got the Billy Bush Distillery, you've got Chandler Hill Winery, you've got Defiance Ridge Winery, you've got Good News Brewing. So you've got this entire experience within probably about a square mile or two mm. where you can come and enjoy for a full day everything that Defiance has to offer. And then even this Saturday, we're throwing in a big Christmas parade as well. And I've heard the parades are not to be missed. The parades in Defiance are, are quite the parade. They're, they're, they're a lot of fun. Uh, everybody has a really good time and they go on all day before the parade and, and after the parade. It's like a, you tailgate a parade. Why are you smiling like that? Because... Mark, I live in Collinsville, Illinois, okay? Uh, I have a very good friend who I grew up with in Collinsville who now lives, I barely ever see him, because he now lives in Collinsville, Illinois. Very good friend, lives like a few blocks from me, but we're just so busy. Mm -hmm. But the last time I really got to hang out with him, it was an environment exactly like you're talking about. And it was almost 12 months ago. But whenever we make time to actually go do that, and a lot of times it's right around the holidays just like this, right. where it's like, oh, we haven't seen each other in X amount of months. Let's go to a place exactly like you're talking about and just sit exactly, and just talk <laughs> exactly. and have a drink. It's, it's one of the best experiences that with my friends I ever do. I sw that's one of the things I love. I mean, I got into this industry a few years back, but the one thing I love the most about especially whiskey and cigars is it forces you to take time. Mm. Yeah, and sit down with friends, sit down with family, and just spend thirty, forty-five, an hour, two hours, and just talk yeah. and enjoy and reflect. And it's—I mean—it's great spirits. It tastes really good, but that's the added benefit. I love that about the industry I'm involved in. I want you to visit StoneLedgeDistillery dot com. That's StoneLedgeDistillery dot com to learn more about Stone Ledge uh, Spirits Company, the distillery, the tasting room. All of that information is right there at StoneLedgeDistillery dot com. Um, Mark, when you're talking about this experience, and you're talking about cigars and 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 just fine spirits and and cocktails and and different things, martinis that you can taste. Like, do you have to be a connoisseur? To go do this and enjoy it. Oh no, no, just just enjoy. So it. Ryan, Ryan, yeah, I mean that's our our job. <laughs> well, <laughs> our job is to present really good spirits in in various fashions. We have a, a white winter Cosmo using white cranberry. Mm. Uh, we have some really good Mo fashions or, or Mo Mohattans. Uh, very uh, espresso espresso martinis has been incredibly um. popular since we opened a week ago. Uh, so we've got a variety of drinks. 
Um, we also do serve local beer as well and local wine. So if you're not, you know, if you want to go with the group and you're not quite into the spirits, there's other stuff for you to enjoy as well. But our job is to present to you with some really good drinks and for you to have just a good time relaxing. As far as I understand it, Mark, <laughs> when you when you hold a glass with your fingers, you're not an expert. But if you hold a glass with your palm, what you are a connoisseur or pretentious, one of the or two. Pretentious. <laughs> <laughs> I actually could live with pretentious uh, as yeah. long as it's not yeah, that would novice. Be, that would be flattering. Yeah. To, like, you think that I'm capable of being pretentious? <laughs> um, I, Mark, talk to us about some of the different spirits that you have the inversion vodka, the whiskey. Um, that, and you said, you know, you don't have to go all the way to Defiance to consume these very high oh, quality yeah. spirits. Yeah. So, total wine, schnooks, uh, uh, wine and cheese, grillos. Uh, there's a, there's actually a map dogwood fryer tuck a lot of these stores around uh, around St Louis carry uh, our products so Stolok whiskey we have two of those uh, so Stolok our flagship is a four year old whiskey it's a fifty five percent sweet corn forty percent honey wheat five percent malted barley so it's a, a bourbon mash aged at least four years in Missouri white oak using all natural limestone filtered water from the Ozark Highlands mm. we have our single barrel which is at least eight years old that's barrel proof slightly different mash bill ninety percent honey wheat. Uh, it's an heirloom seed varietal, uh, so that lot of honey comes out as as it ages. And then our vodka is incredibly smooth. Uh, it undergoes a very extensive, uh, long, extra long fermentation process, which removes most of the ethanol smell and most of the burn. So it's a incredibly exquisite, delicious, and dangerous vodka. <laughs> yeah, the, the easier it goes down. Ryan just breezes by. And looks at these drinks, and he's feeling better already. Oh, here's the deal, Mark. If I <laughs> if I have a drink, I'm not kidding. If I have a drink, even if it's just like a half a beer, I'm just hugging people. Yeah, <laughs> two drinks and he's asleep. Yeah, that's that's a fact. But I wake up within like 15 minutes, and I'm ready to go. Well, good. good. So right. it's pretty cool. But I listen to you just talk about the different varieties of spirits. Do you have a background in this? I mean, how do you get into this? I was an avid consumer. Okay. <laughs> uh, and advocate. And then uh, a few years back, uh, there's a gentleman that we contract with to make all our spirits by the name of Demetrius Kane. He is a legend in the Missouri region and, and growing nationally. Um, he makes all our spirits for us. So I was sitting drinking with him and came up with this crazy idea that, that myself and a few other guys could launch a distillery and, and leverage his skill sets and his experience. He's a ninth, ninth generation distiller. Wow. okay. And in the morning... From Missouri? From Missouri. No kidding. Um, and in the morning, it still sounded like a good idea. So <laughs> at that point, we, we, we processed, and then a couple of years ago, we brought out the first whiskey, and now we've got two whiskeys and, and a vodka, and we're, we're growing, uh, growing the company. Uh, we're in Florida. We're in the United Kingdom. We've got a few more states coming up. That's great. And uh, it's, it's going phenomenally well. That's awesome. We're speaking with Mark Sutherland here. He is the co-owner and CEO of Stone Ledge Spirits Company. You can go to stoneledgedistillery.com. Um, let's just talk a little bit before we let you go again about the tasting room. On the website at stoneledgedistillery.com, it shows that you're open Thursday through Sunday. The hours are pretty broad, so people can Correct. go in the evening and, and enjoy a good time. What kind of prep do people need to do to, do they like reservations just show nope, up just, it just just show up and uh we've got a good uh, we've got the non-smoking area where the tasting room is and then the cigar lounge is a, is a separate area so if you're not into the smoking it's not smoking uh so you can you can pick and choose but no just 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 come on by uh we do also if there's if you've got a big group and you want to do like a corporate outing you just give us a call drop us a note we'll open up outside of those hours and uh, we'll have a good time together. Oh, you know, I, I have to say personally that being near cigarette smoking versus being near cigar smoking, I'm kind of interested in, I like the smell oh, of a man. good cigar. I was just on a beach Sunday because we were in Florida, and there was one guy with a cigar, and everybody just kind of crowded around. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a pleasant it was smell. Great. It's, yeah. it's, there's, there's, a refine, there's a refinement around the just being around all of these types of things. It just seems classy. And we don't really spend a lot of time culturally. These, I mean, what we're talking about going to do is like a tale as old as time. Oh, yeah. uh, so this has been uh, performed and practiced over the course of millennia. But to be able to go do it and to be able to do it right here in Missouri with a very Missouri-centric 
uh, focus. I think it's a really, really neat experience, and I hope people go check it out. I, I, we, we look forward to hosting everyone. Awesome. Well, it's StoneLedgeDistillery.com. StoneLedgeDistillery.com. Mark, it's always a pleasure to have you in. We appreciate uh, the opportunity to speak with you about this and encourage people to check it out. Let us know if you if you get any of those Annie Fry Show listeners. Make sure if you go and, and say hello, you tell them you heard about it here. Sounds, Sounds good. good. All right. Thank you, Mark. We Thank appreciate you. you. Uh, StoneLedgeDistillery.com. If you're interested, if you have any other questions, you can follow them at stone underscore ledge on x uh go check them out and see if it's for you and let us know about your experience can't wait to hear about it let's take a quick break 